We haven't seen a lot of Sato's matches in the preliminaries today, but she's moved pretty well through the draw. Let me see who she fought today. You can read uh, my scribble. <laughs> okay, she uh, took out the Mongolian in her first round. Well, actually, she had a bye, so that was basically it. And then she took out uh, the Korean, Jeong, uh, in the second round, or the round prior to this. Cotton also had a bye. And then she took out Wang. And you can tell that uh, Sato competes for the Komatsu team because uh, their cheering section is raring to go here. Sato won the uh, Kana Cup this year. And in 2010, she got a gold at the Rio de Janeiro last time. Where she is fighting for a place in the final. A couple good entries here. Lunge by Cotton, a little trying to get their hips in front here. Seth hasn't quite yet settled. No, no, no. Uh, just taking a little bit of time to work things out with Cotton. Cotton proving a little bit awkward. Doesn't seem that they're really battling out that hard for grips. They're letting each other get their grips. And. It's a matter of footwork, really. I don't see them doing a lot of ashiwaza to set this up. They're just sort of throwing their hips in there. And that was a little bit better leg entry by Sato. a little bit tight at the moment. Tight and tense. Yeah, I just like to see them do some more feints and try to set things up here. Cotton can sense her place in a Grand Slam final. Yeah, she can. Not sure what that was um, supposed to be. Mm. A slip? Well, I think Cotton wanted to make something come of it, but, you know, you've got to, you know, that counter from that position, you need to open up a bit. That's right. To do something, and didn't look as though she was prepared to. They're kind of just turning and throwing their hips in there, but they're not really using any kazushi or anything to set it up, and... There's no spring into those entries. So that, was, that was slightly more um, speculative on uh, Cotton's part, wanting to come up with uh, Yoko Sutemi was it? Well, yeah, I suppose so. More, more um, just 
didn't have the top half right. close enough. Ended up losing contact with the hands. She was going away from her. Should have been better off going for the Yoko Sutemiwaza, keeping her close and just um, going more off to the side, using that leg that she'd outstretched. Exactly, but she'd, yeah. she'd got the leg in the right position. But her hands were kind of on the trunk of the body. Yeah, versus exactly, on the trunk, yeah. They didn't, there was no control of the sleeves no, so that Sato no. could roll out of it really yeah. easily. Yeah. That was actually a little better. It's not the Ooh. That's a little better idea. Minute and 20 odd. And, and there now, she yeah. she did a little bit of Ashiwaza there to set it up and finally threw her hip in. There she comes. That's what she needs to do. See that just that's just blocking with the left hand yes, there. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that was just blocking with the left hand. Got away with it, yeah, and it was below the belt, yeah. yeah. Sato's got to put that pressure on again, and that and was a see, that was a, b a better um, effort there. She had allowed herself to get closer to um, Sato there, but it was dangerous because she didn't get the rotation with her upper body, and that could have uh, yeah. Any anything like that is going to be risky, but yeah. uh, she she needs to do that if she's going to score. Okay. No warning goes out to White. He saw that one. Yeah. And, and there you go. That's a little better. Well, the first one came at a minute 24. This one came with 50 seconds left there. I'm not saying that they're coming thick and fast. Right. But it was closer than, you know, the the the, the, the gap between the attacks is closed, closed now. Yeah. Two good attacks. That was um, nothing there. Just losing contact. With Sato. And if you're counting Kinza, those are two uh, yeah, attempts. Yeah, two good them. ones, yeah. And there's another. That one didn't... Um, that one didn't come up with anything. See again, she's just dragging her leg across there. Just a little close salt, a little something just to... There's no need for Sato to be that desperate. No, no, no. It looks like you she's know, behind. Lunging, exactly. It's like she's the one with uh, with the chewy, or with a uh, with a warning. Yeah. Oh, yes, that'll do. That'll score. And then the bell comes. Sato began at 124. That's where the contest began yep. for Sato. She realized, I've got to go here. And within that time, she came up with three good attacks. Um, one at 124, one at 50, and then the one right at the end that, that scored. That's when the contest started for her. Up until that time, That's know, right. um, Cotton had kept her out. That, uh, Amy Cotton will pick up uh, a bronze medal. Sato, it is, who will fight Ogata in an all Japan final. Yep, so far from saved by the bell, she was done in at the gong. Yeah, it looked like a, a little bit of that low uchimata that we saw.